Hello, everyone. Uh, so The Mandalorian Season 2, uh, Chapter 9, actually was uh, released last Friday, and I just realized that I still have Cara Dune that I haven't unboxed yet. So I thought today would be a good day since uh, we do have another Mandalorian episode coming again very soon. So uh, what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the Cara Dune Star Wars The Black Series 6-inch figure. We're going to take a look at the outside of the box. We're going to go ahead and unbox her, and then we're going to go ahead and take a look at the articulation, take some pictures, and then come back, talk about the things we've learned, maybe things that we like or don't like about the figure, and from there, uh, we'll wrap things up. So if you have any questions while I'm going through the figure, feel free to ask down below comments as well. I might miss something, so feel free to comment down below and help out the uh, the community here. And as I'm going through here, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up as well. So what we're going to do first is we're going to go ahead and take a look at the outside of the box. Standard red box, black series figure. We've got the, the image right here. You can see that she's going to come with a blade. It's going to come with a blaster and the big gun. <laughs> and uh she is number 101 uh and she is echo 6960 cara dune standard back we've got cara dune here a veteran of the galactic civil war who fought for the rebellion cara dune is a seasoned warrior who has put her days of military discipline behind her and now has reinvented herself as a mercenary so I don't know about you guys. I'm really curious to see what they end up doing with her uh, in season two. They've hinted that she's going to be back. Um, you know, we've got Carl Weathers coming back as well. So um, really curious to see what they're going to be doing in this season of The Mandalorian. All right. So go ahead and take her out here. Uh, we usually go from the bottom just because it's easier to get the figure out that over there for right now we'll clean up in just a moment come on blade are you taped in oh it is taped in i might have to come back all right let's get everything out that we can blaster big gun with some tape come on our dune She's smaller than I thought she would be. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'll, I'll be uh, I'll go ahead and get the blade out, take the tape off, um, and I'll be right back. All right, as you can see, I went ahead and cleaned everything up. We've got all the weapons stored on Cara Dune here. So let's go ahead and take them off. <laughs> all right, so let's first take a look at the big old gun here. Uh, when, uh, the, when I took it out of the packaging, the, this was not attached to anything. You're going to want to attach it to the bottom barrel here, but yeah, the detail on this gun is actually really good. It's not like a traditional star Wars weapon that you would see. I, you know, it almost looks like something from GI Joe or something like that. Uh, but, uh, especially since it looks like, you know, you've got magazines here, uh, we've got a good top handle. And then uh, we've got the uh, the strap as well for holding it on the back. Um, next weapon, you'll notice that it is in the boot. We've got the blade. I appreciate the fact that they included the blade. I, I definitely appreciate the fact that the blade is in the boot. So super cool. We've got a little brown there. And then we've got the, the metal on that. Blade is not sharp, <laughs> obviously. And then uh, we've got the blaster in the holster the blaster is a pretty decent looking blaster We've got a little sight there got a little detail on the handle yeah pretty cool all right so now with the figure herself cardoon the likeness to gina is really good um impressed with that and i do like the uh the different contours on her as well so let's go ahead and take a look at the head it will do the full 360, which I wasn't sure was going to be able to do with the hair. Um, this is looking down, looking up. Get a little bit of a head, head tilt as well, and full 360. Arms go almost all the way up. Not able to really do a full rotation, uh, so no rotation in the upper arm. Able to get a full 90 on that. And on that as well, I think they did a good job with that tattoo. Um, 
This arm will do the left and right. This one I'm presuming would be up and down as it is. That's really loose up and down. Uh, body has some good movement. And I like what they did here. Um, you know, it's not just flat black. You've got a little bit of texture on that there. Um, we've got the belt, which maybe can come off. I don't know. No, I don't think it's going to come off. Uh, but with the holster, legs are able to do the full 360. The holster is not attached to the leg. I really like the contour and the differentiate difference uh, between the legs. The knees will do pretty good bend. It is double jointed. And then, uh, yeah, so it's typical legs. Won't go into that so much. All right, so uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. Uh, if you're liking the video, give it a thumbs up. What we'll do now is we'll go ahead and take uh, some pictures and I'll be right back talking about things that I like or don't like as I take these pictures. All right, I hope you like those figures. I have to say, this is probably one of the better figures that I've seen in a long time. Uh, I know that it came out about a year ago, uh, but between the articulation, the fact that uh, it comes with so many accessories between the long gun, the, uh, the blaster, and then even the blade, awesome. And I especially like, you know, the fact that, you know, the blade is in the boot. I mean, that's awesome. I mean, that's perfect. That is that is what you would expect from a fighter like Cara Dune. So, uh, yeah, I don't really have anything bad to say except for the, the strap keeps coming off of the, uh, the rifle or whatever kind of long gun that is. Uh, but other than that, I really like the figure. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask down below. If you like the figure, give it a thumbs up. It, or I should say, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. And with that, if you... Uh, if you like Star Wars The Black Series, Star Wars in general, anything that a professional geek might like, like going to theme parks, uh, video games, I just got an Oculus Quest 2, so you'll be seeing more videos about that, um, or anything along those lines, home automation, something like that. Anyways, uh, I invite you to subscribe to the channel. We do lots of things on the channel, not just Star Wars The Black Series. And with that, have a great day.